Yeah, we're re- actually going to record this one. Oh, uh, uh, how's it going? <laughs> you know what? I'm keeping that intro. Let's just get into it. You know this game. You know Doug. Say hi, hi. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. We tried to record this already, but my recording but, uh, said fuck you. Yeah. We almost I, got I, I could do this. We almost got a secret ending out of the deal, but uh, <laughs> uh at least the game decided to be merciful to us. By making it so I had shitty stats. Skip all this, we've heard it plenty of times before. Y'all know this y'all know what's going on. Skipping uh, Mom's proud of the pop quiz ever. We know, we know the drill. Okay. You wish you, you wish were raised, you were raised by. by a pack of. Okay, there's a here. Pack of wild wolves who also happen to be tech moguls who own some of the most profitable companies of Silicon Valley. They would be kick-ass role models and wild wolves. Sick. A mysterious old man who saved me from the streets in order to raise me as his disciple in the ancient ways of rad DJing. Or a really progressive marriage between kick-ass venomous snake and an actual fire. I can't figure out what the first one is. Probably Vera. Probably Vera. Probably. But, um... I'm gonna try to go for Polly again. I'm gonna try to go for Scott. That way... That's on camera. Oh, so what? You're right. Yeah, it was wealthy. Okay. Be a visionary. What will the next big social media craze be? Watch, please. (laughs) From now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to through the app by its users. (laughs) That, That explains the nervous look on the dude's face. Yep. Bullshit. It's Facebook, but each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. Money goes to the people exposed to that bullshit. Greek Agoras. The little Greek Agoras reinvested in our cities. Actually, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna try to go for a secret ending this time. Actually, wait, I'm not sure if I've unlocked it, but who cares? Oh yeah, I just realized that I don't know if like what I have also transfers to what you can do too. And I hope it does. If, if I were an ice cream flavor, I'd be tequila and coke flavored. <laughs> uh, rainbows and gummy bears. That actually sounds good. But I'm going for Scott. I'm pretty sure he's me. Spicy chocolate, no chocolate on fire. Alrighty. Um, sure. Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna hit the gym. Damn, I have even stats. <laughs> Everything seems lost, but you deliver uh, an inspirational speech that fuels your team's being to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You're getting too charm. I think you're still cutting out. Really? Every now and really? then, yeah. Uh, later, you're minding your own business, which soon proves to be difficult to, when you notice Damien, Damien and Scott in, in, the, in the vicinity, in the middle of some hot, sweaty arm. Unfortunately, you can't enjoy it long, since stupid, strong Scott beats Damien in no time. But it seems you're not the only one mad at the outcome of the situation. <laughs> this is so unfair! That one didn't count, Scott. We should arm wrestle, but with guns. I'm not gonna lie, Damien's scream, or Damien's yell actually scared me. (laughs) (laughs) But bro, I've got these guns already. And by guns, I mean my big arm muscles. Mm. Which, just to be clear, are not real guns. Oh, Scott. (laughs) But still... (sighs) Shut up, I'm gonna murder you. No, no, no! Arm wrestling proves nothing. To 
see who's the very best we should. We should uh, scream at a huge rock breaks just because of our pure rage and awesomeness. Or we should subdue a tiger with a scary and manly look. Bro, you're just quoting stuff from yesterday's episode of Ultimate Warriors Mount of Mount Awesome. Face it, bro. <laughs> I'm the Ultimate Warrior. No! Arm wrestling doesn't mean hey, shit. Noob. Hey, noob. Oh, dear. Brian. Not because arm, not because arm wrestling isn't going my way, but I decided you should settle this tie by proposing a way to decide who the real ultimate warrior is around here. Okay, so it turns out I'm not getting Polly. I mean, you could just end. Well, during lunch, you could try going Polly's way. Uh, whoever can punch the sun in the face. Don't forget to refer to your stats too. Yeah, I did. I don't know, bro. That doesn't even seem possible. I'm fucking in! Of course you're in. I'm gonna punch that stupid son right in the face. And I'm gonna be the very best. Anyway, I wanted to punch the, the son already. That motherfucker thinks he's more fiery than me. Oh, dear. You sure about this, Damien? Sound like a big ball of gas without any face on it? That's what a little sun-fearing loser would say. Also, how do you plan to get the air to punch it in its face anyway? The sun is like super far, day. No, 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 it's like super, super, super far. I'm like 87% sure you can't get there without a ladder. <laughs> yeah, Scott, I know. That I'm not an idiot. That's all be using uh, a really tall ladder. <laughs> Okay, soon the two of you will need to work out the specifics on that later. Stupid sexy Damien. Nah, bros, I'm out. This plan doesn't sound very nice or very possible. Also, the son and I are pen pals. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I knew a good boy like Scott wasn't fierce enough to punch the sun in its, it's face. It's Damien LeVay, bitches! But me. I'm Damien fucking LaVey, and I will punch the sun in its fucking face because of all the bad things it's done, like UV radiation and shit. But mostly because of pure gratuitous violence, and because I want to become the ultimate warrior no matter what. Are you free the next few weeks, Brian? I'll be needing your smarts to come up with a good plan for, uh, for not dying while punching the sun. Damien... Oh, I hope you're ready for some misadventures that'll strengthen our bonds. Maybe even into the love zone. <laughs> Is this the secret fucking ending? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck yeah, you're ready for that. It's punching the fucking sun time. I've never gotten this prompt before, and like I said, they did add a new ending for Damien. Oh, and you gain two creativity and one boldness. <laughs> All right. All right. Alright. Yeah, I'm- Okay, then. <laughs> I'm, like, pretty much even across the board. Let's just go for... Let's go for creativity. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves- Totally cut off, but you don't need to read that. <laughs> Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will re be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standard. Of course. You get into creativity. You see the hordes of your classmates running away from Vera and Scott. They're all screaming, SPOILER! Oh dear, what do they spoil? Mm, great. Uh... Have you seen the latest episode of Detective Where Weasel, where Weasel finally exposed the cartel's entire operation? Awesome, bro. I did. It was so exciting, I peed on Grandma's carpet. Oh my god, Scott. Not bad. I did not need to know that. <laughs> Same. I know, right? And the cartel's organizational structure is so cool. I took so many notes. Oh, bro. 
But last night was the last episode. I was so sad. I peed on grandma's carpet oh again. Oh my god, Scott! Stop peeing on your grandma's carpet! Well, why don't we start our own TV show? We'll make it better than Where Weasel. Uh, what? Better than Where Weasel? Is that even possible? We're the perfect team. I have the money, and you're the global target audience. Gorgona Film Studios requires your ideas. Scott Gorgona Film Studios? We'll talk about that later. Right now, I need ideas. Huh. Oh boy. My mafia turns to close his gym. Ugly ass. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the first one is Scott, huh? Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Not cool. His gym? How could they do such a thing to him? Nosferatu's across the globe are struggling to get swole. Hmm. Would you say that this is a sensitive issue for your demographic? <laughs> gym is always a sensitive issue. <laughs> Good. I can sell the shit out of sensitive. Hooray! Finally, the world will understand the struggles of buff Nosferatu's everywhere. Hooray! You really are the gullible target, Scott, but that's okay. Vera writes a plot and hires a vampire body bodybuilder out of the gym tailor. <laughs> God damn it, I can't believe I just read that. <laughs> You're playing Monster Prom. You should expect this kind of bullshit. To play the lead role. You gain three money as advanced for your creative work. Sweet. Let's trade places. Hmm. Challenge. On the one hand, we could do it randomly. On the other, challenge cut uh, various stock photos over. Uh, so. Challenge. Everyone chooses an animal. Bear. <laughs> Straight up bear. Huh. Let's go with uh raccoon. Player orders are based on how intriguing a new Game of Thrones. Ha you get this one. I've never even seen Game of Thrones, so I don't even know what all the sales mean. Um, you can explain it to me later. Their... Yeah. <laughs> Save some time. Yeah, just throw them on screen right now. All right. Eh, maybe. Uh. Uh. You go ahead and talk to your, uh. Do, do Actually, you who are you trying to romance here? Do you see what I see? Well, there's the uh, Slayer. Uh, um, oh, oh, uh, uh. What? I don't know what you're looking at here. <laughs> My game is so kind of fubbernucked. There is nobody on screen! Oh. I just see okay. our characters! Okay, so since, since you're functionally blind right now... Um, <clears throat> there is nobody do, on screen! Do you want me to tell you who's at which tables? Just tell me where Scott is. Top right. Top right? Yes. <laughs> you find Liam taking a picture of his food and Scott taking a picture of also Liam's food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scott. Snap away. My artistic plating is too magnificent to ignore. Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh... Artistic what? I'm playing Pokemon's Go, the mobile <laughs> version of the hit Pocket Humans video game. What do pocket mans have to do with my food pick? There's a little 43 Bernard Henson hanging out in the middle of your plate. Here, take a look. Scott, why does your phone show a tiny human doing pottery at the top of my eggplant ravioli? You mean you don't know Bernard Henson? He used to be a chartered accountant, but now he's decided to pursue his lifelong 
game of being a world famous potter. That major life change has made him super rare. Pocket humans almost never follow their dreams. Just oh. like real life. Oh, that got too real. <laughs> well, I don't care how rare he is. His presence is spoiling my pristine food pick. Spoiling it? But pocket humans are way cooler than a boring old food pick. Oh, oh no! Territory. Oh no! You take that back! Oh no! Uh oh, tempers oh. are running a little high. Looks like it's up to you to solve this. Dis oh man! Okay, so Scott's right. Why take an old cliche food pick? You can take a food pig of Scott capturing a Pokemon off your food pig? That confused me. My head hurts. Look over there. There's a... On top of my... What's the first one? Good lord. You're right. The layers of iron are practically infinite. Go ahead, Scott. Capture your Pokemon. Okay. Here I go. Wait. What are you doing? Stop molesting my pasta! <laughs> I'm not trying to grab your pasta, bro. I'm trying to grab Bernard Hansen. He's too slippery. You imbecile. Bernard Hansen isn't actually on top of my <laughs> ravioli. He's an image protected by your phone. Oh, dear. Are you sure? He seems so real. Just let me try to grab him a few more times. Scott. No! My artfully arranged pasta pockets are in disarray. You fiend! <laughs> William chases you and Scott away so he can rebuild his wonderful pasta arrangement. You bond with Scott by teaching him how to actually play Pokemon's Go. Um, sure. There's still nobody on the screen. It just looks like Oz and Brian are there. And some horror shit's about to go down because it's okay. an empty fucking location. So I'm half inclined to um, try to go for a secret ending, but... What ending? Okay, so the shop is right here, and there's a specific item I'm looking for. But... Are you going to be looking for that thing I've been trying to get in? Uh, we'll see if we're... We'll see very quickly. Hey, stranger. It's not there. Yeah. It costs like 10 gold what I want to get. Well, this is also a secret ending. That is true. Dragon Heat, a classic. It's so cheesy and stupid that you just can't stop reading it. Never thought I'd say this, but I'm super into dragon abs. <laughs> <laughs> you could always try to romance the shopkeeper, too. That's a secret ending. True. You just have to visit her three times, but don't buy anything. But right. I don't know what to do after that. That's all I know. Okay, so don't shop from her. Yeah, just visit her three times, but don't uh... buy anything. You know what my favorite thing in the world is? People who buy stuff. Be one or be gone. Everyone choose an occupation. Um, bricklayer. A bricklayer. Huh. I'll do... Graphic designer. How weird it would be to see a slu- I feel mm. Can we go random with this one? Yeah. Cause like, both of them are like, why? I go first. Reason. All right. All right. Let's. Hmm. I have twelve money for nothing. Probably hit the gym for charm. I need charm and boldness, but let's go for charm right now. That day an epic dodge while match takes place. How many people fall during the battle? You can't take any more, so you valiantly go straight to the other team's lead. And start negotiations for a truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. You gain 10 righteousness, 
but <laughs> this game is so wrong. It's lucky if you could do anything with that. <laughs> and two charm. Also, isn't gym like an hour long? How the fuck did it take hours? Well, to be fair, this, this school goes from the morning to the evening, so... Nearby, you can see Scott and the wolf back talking. Oh, no. <laughs> S Scott! Scott! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! We have the greatest power drink to date. Check this one out, bro! Oh, no! Ooh, I love power drinks. But wait! This new cutting-edge sports supplement is like no other before. There's no need to mix it with a beverage. You can consume it using only your nose. <laughs> okay, I will allow you to get this secret ending. It's called coca Ean. Yeah, coca e. Whoa, that totally doesn't sound like your regular power drink. Which definitely means it's cutting edge, just like you said. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> it's like 50% energy drink, 50% protein powder, and 100% raw power. God damn it with these crazy pranks. But before you can do anything, Scott has snorted literally all the code. Oh no. And, uh -oh. he's... He's and now he's basically uh, unleashed and is uh, destroying everything. He's an insane werewolf. You need to do something to calm him down, but... What? Uh... Vast knowledge? Or just... I kind of want to do fidget spinner. Fuck! Uh-oh! You give the fierce wolf Scott to the fidget spinner. Something tells me this ending ain't going through. He seems to like it. He tries to spin it. But he's so high on coke that he soon grows tired of the spinning and wants to write a crime novel. Fifteen minutes and five chapters later, he realizes he had learned. You cut out. Then he forgets. Pa oh, dig. What the fuck is that? Pau de quejo. Pau de quejo, thank you. I'm assuming. And uh, he was preparing in the oven. He purchased online because he's too. Because he's now into pottery. Now, for fact, I actually, in a video I didn't post because it wasn't really that funny with me and my friend, we did this, and I've actually seen this work, and I forgot it was creativity. And now he's doing all his taxes, and your taxes, and now he's starting a law firm with Rand Hart. Jesus heart. Christ, he's nuts! And now he's taking two charm and one smarts from you, and he's invested in the stock market. And, and he's gone. Solved, solved nothing. nothing. <laughs> Shit. No ending for me. Alright. Give me your money. No. That weekend. You. Um, sure. I still like this new weekend screen. It's not a lot nicer. That weekend you find Scott gazing lovingly at a pickle. A sad look in his eyes. Oh, hey, bro. Maybe you can help me make a really tough choice. I really like Kai. I'm not sure I can commit yet. Because I also really like this pickle. Look at it. It's so green and warty. And exactly the right size for a pickle. Kai is such a good person. But this pickle is such a good pickle. I can't choose. Can you help me? Oh, dear. That's literally just a pickle, Scott. You can make out with Kai while also have a pickle. Fine. You're telling me I can have this pickle and go out with Kai? But Coach always says he can't have your pickle and eat it too. He can't always listen to that guy. Wait, are you saying that if I go out with Kai, I don't have to eat the pickle? <laughs> well, yes, that is a thing. You have no idea why he thought he would have to eat the pickle at any point. Unbelievable. I thought I was really in a pickle. But it turns out the pickle was inside me all along. Uh. Or, I mean, 
outside of me, but it doesn't need to be inside of me. And I don't need Scott, to be inside Scott, you're just, ins you're going to hurt yourself, child. <laughs> you're going to no. hurt yourself. Scott, I, I love you, but don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it, Honestly. It's really simple. Way simpler than you're making it out to be. But I know better than to get between you and your pickle. Have uh, I'll take that three charm off you now. <laughs> yeah, take that charm and go somewhere else. <sighs> okay, everybody Everyone choose, choose a, a celebrity. celebrity. I will choose Ryan Higa from Niga Higa. Never heard of that guy. Um, he's He's one of the OG YouTubers. Huh. Huh. Anyway, I'm not to show you his Tom videos. Holland. I'm not to show you his videos because he's fucking hilarious. Oh, okay, but yeah, Tom Holland. It is fair. How likely is it that selected celebrity is secretly related to Brian? Uh, I don't think either of them would work, honestly. Hmm. I'm trying to think about everything Ryan has done. And I know he's kind of dressed up as a zombie for a skit, but that was like, eh. So I think I mean, that's, that's more than we, uh, that's more than we've got to go on with Tom Holland. True. I mean, I'll take it, but... Um, sure. And final attempt. What's up? Ugh. All right. I sure hope I'm right, because that's just from what I've heard. All right, let's let's go to bold. Psst. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect absolutely no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Who doesn't want to watch this world burn? By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. Great. Later, you see Scott all but skipping down the corridor, surely rattling off some sort of, a sort of list. Hey, bro. Hey, pal. Oh, man, today's the best. I was walking out of class, and my tail just started wagging all of a sudden. You know how sometimes your tail starts wagging and you're not even sure why? No, because I don't have a tail. I'm not familiar with that experience now. I started wondering why my tail might be so happy, and then I realized it's probably because I, uh, I'm just a werewolf. Um... What? Uh... <laughs> Because being a werewolf is just about the best thing, right? I mean, if I wasn't a werewolf, I wouldn't even have a tail to wag. If you weren't a werewolf, you wouldn't be thinking about this. If you weren't a werewolf, you wouldn't have torn apart the gym after snorting a line of coke last night. Seriously, though. Then I started thinking even more, and I realized where everything would be pretty good. Where dolphins, where pigs, where weasels, where uh -huh. nightmare people, <laughs> where tanks. I wonder what the absolute best where creature would be. Where vending machines, where water fountains, that's where door, Scott. where window, that's, where knob, that's where not how, floor. That's, that's not how things work. Okay, now he's just naming things he can see. You'd better jump in. Where werewolf? <laughs> a where werewolf? Awesome, bro. That sounds like a best thing ever. What's better than winning a sports game? Winning two of them. What's better than gym class? Double gym. No. No. Fucking. So it'd be gym. better than being a werewolf? Being a Double werewolf. I wonder if I can get a member of the wolf pack to bite me so I, a werewolf can turn into a werewolf. That's not how it works. And be a were werewolf. 
Or two could bite me and I could blah blah. What happens if a were werewolf bites a were 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 werewolf? Oh man, is this why they make us learn math? Scott, you are confusing yourself. This is not how things work, man. Scott's math performance increases and uh, dr dramatically, but only for the next week. <laughs> you actually gained two smarts in one. I gained two smarts because I've been trying to study what the fuck he was saying. Something bad. Blowing um, up the earth. Man, what is it with you and explosions today? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> hmm. Well, to answer your question, I was playing a game that involved a lot of explosions. Uh, of course. Hmm. So I, I feel like Damien right now, even if I'm not going for him. Majora. Just Majora. <laughs> Hard <At> zoom. <laughs> Majora is pretty bad. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how horrible we have to select a torture device or legal punishment. I mean, blowing up the earth you can only do once. <laughs> then again, well Majora you can also only do once. <laughs> yeah. Since Since they're they're basically mask, right? the same thing. You're talking about yeah. Majora's Mask, yeah? Yeah, though, I'm, I'm specifically referring to Majora's Moon. Yeah, I know, I know. So yeah, both things you could technically only do once. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I'm pretty okay, sure the so moon is just Majora's see. moon. Um, sure. Let's see if I can talk to, uh... GAME! Her. I'll tell you who's who. <laughs> hey, stranger. Huh, I thought... Oh. What the fuck? Huh. I thought... Maybe I just need to talk to her more. I... Hmm. All right. Anyway, Scott's in the center table. Center? Yes. As you approach, you... oh, I know this one. As you approach you, at the table, you see you're delicately lifting a fork full of quinoa to her mouth, which she brings. Oh, this one. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we delicate? Eating, eating. Yeah, hey, eating. Ugh. Ah, Scott, what on earth are you doing? I'm cheerleading you to help you be the best eater in the whole school. What caused this obsession with cheerleading mean through mundane activities that require no cheerleading? <laughs> Everything requires cheerleading, silly. That's why we have cheerleaders who are cheerleaders. But I can see my cheerleading's not working. You haven't eaten anything yet. Well, no shit. That's because you keep startling me with your damn cheerleading. I can't eat when I'm startled. No, that can't be it. I must be truly I must not be truly hard enough. Hey, friend, maybe you can help me. You're just a salad. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, sports cheerleaders dress like giant drumsticks all the time. Or maybe that's just how they look when I'm really hungry. No, that's how you look when you're really hungry. That's, let's be real here. Whatever, let's dress up. I mean, luckily, the school keeps some giant vegetable costumes in the auditorium for health presentations. So you bring them and start cheering. Bates, aggressive. Eat Bates, aggressive. <laughs> there aren't even any beets in this salad. It's just Dinoa and the tears of my enemies. Vera's pissed, but she does eat her salad really fast, just so you'll leave her alone. Ready for cheerleading. Yeah. 
is this even a question? Everybody choose a food. Um, hmm. Enchiladas. Alright, let's go with a turkey leg. Decided based on how plausible the chosen be as a vehicle for government mind control. What? What? I... Hmm... Uh, random. Yeah. All right. All right, let's see what I have to do. I have to do charm. That that dodgeball. Uh, uh. <laughs> that that dodgeball an epic gym <laughs> match takes place. At one point, you're uh, about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. Suddenly convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears and you take advantage of that moment of weakness, throwing the ball at him. Right on his head. You lose five mercy. <laughs> a, st a stat that might be useful in the future, but... <laughs> oh, let's face it, isn't in here. And you gain two charm. Mercy? I don't know her. Ah, she's been nerfed into the ground, right? Yeah. After a fearsome battle, you find that you, Vera, and Scott are the souls of a bloody and terrible dodgeball match. How fuck? How nuts are these dodgeball matches? Ugh. I mean, the balls are loaded with lead, probably. Fair point. Damn. Are we the only ones alive? Shit. I can't afford to lose. I don't want that on my deck. A academic resume. No, we're not losing. Losing is like not a good thing. Don't worry, Scott. Losing is like winning, except it's losing. That. Okay, shut up, coach. I'm not sure if I should feel worried or relieved. <laughs> worried, Scott. Losing is bad. A loser, Scott, is a bad Scott. I don't want to be a bad Scott. <laughs> now what we need is a fast way to turn this game around. Unless we completely change the rules of dodgeball as I know them. Unleash your sick, sick acting skills. Pretend you're... You've caught a disease to stop the match? What the fuck are these answers? I I say we gotta go full rad. Go go to the bottom one? Top. Top? Yeah. Alright. So smart. You swiftly flee to the Inter International Ministry of Sports and set our complex <laughs> legal process. After an absurd whirlwind of legal action and bribery, you finally drastically change the rules of dodgeball. You go back to the high school with the new rule, and the new rule set favors your team in incomprehensible ways. Scott, you focus on catching the blue flamingo to gain 50 more points. What? Excuse me? Gotcha. You two you would dance the tango so we can win this thing. Excuse me? Narrator. You you dance all the right moves that actually match way ahead of the other team who are still combing through the hair of their team llama. Like, I was... J I just needed a moment to process <laughs> that entire sentence. Fair enough, because what the hell... Can I have the list of rules that you guys fucking changed dodgeball to? <laughs> um... No... Like, good grief! Well, I have no idea what just happened, but according to the rule book, you- I mean, couldn't you guys do something else? Like, take that rule book he's apparently holding, secretly change it with some other shit, and, like, what the fuck? Holy cow, kids! I don't remember any of these rules. I guess my- I guess my memory lost at remembering stuff. 
Don't worry, coach. Losing is like winning. Except, instead of winning, it's losing. That's right, Mira. And you learn. And if you've learned that, it means I've won at the ancient sport of teaching. Who knew that subverting the rules of a sport was that easy? We live in a wonderful and twisted world. You end up reverting the rules back to how they were before, but boy, howdy, that was fun. You're getting two creativity and one fun. I really want to see a full list of rules you guys changed that to. I'm serious about that. Um, like, what the true. fuck? Auditorium. I've not given up on this. Hey, stranger. It should have worked. I just read up, and it should have worked. You're supposed to visit uh. her three times in a row. There's something missing. What the fuck? I don't get it. Something happened to Kai. All right. All right. You're, you're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally chilling that after you when you spy a more visible threat. What the fuck? No, fuck hammer. I need your advice about something. We literally haven't seen you at all. You know what the most powerful force on Earth is? Stronger than anvils, or swords, or my nine-pack abs? Wait, nine? It's love, and I think I might be in it with your buddy, Brian. Bruh. I have not- t I have talked to you once this entire month. I was about to say, like, what- you- And sure, love is already hardcore, because the feelings are so strong and it's badass. The love will be doubly as strong and bad as it turns out that Brian is as hardcore as I think he is. Brian, listen, I love you, but you're fucking. Where the fuck did you come from? Why are you. Why are you targeting? He's clearly not going for you. Oh, wait, maybe this is because you're going at the shop and you haven't really gone for anyone. Yeah. And of course, there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. You know him pretty well. What do you think his inner murder weapon would be? <laughs> um, duh. Of course you do. Or what you mean you're happy- uh, you'd totally make it up on the spot. <laughs> Now's the time to decide Brian's fate. Fun, right? Don't be a dick, unless you want to, in which case totally go for it. <laughs> so, what are you gonna want for this? Do either. <laughs> Like, I don't give a shit. I was gonna say, do you want, like, a contingency plan? Yeah, I guess give me the contingency plan. Alright, there you go. Damn. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of that. If major cardiovascular diseases were a knife, they would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. If they were a sword, they'd be two katanas. If they were a gun, they'd be an atomic bomb. That's not a gun. Wow. Cardiovascular disease was raging in Brian this entire <laughs> time, and I never even knew it. Yeah, that's you what never killed me. Talk to him. Eh, that is true. Well, that's confusingly worded, to say the least. But luckily, since you were the one who started this metaphor, you know Brian isn't likely to die. Maybe. Unless they're dying to go to prom with Brian, in which case, BAM! You're welcome. You're technically already dead. Oh sweet, and you gave me a bonus. Thanks, thanks for that, Dane. You know it. Everybody chooses Choose a, a movie. movie. Um... I'll go with Coraline. It's one of my favorites. Hmm... Uh, 13th Warrior. And the most selected movie will be. I've never even seen Thirteen Warriors, so I don't know what that's about. Um. Okay, are you familiar with the um? Uh, are you familiar with the Beowulf legends? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, just go random, because I don't know 
nothing about it. I, I feel like sure you're not going to prom, man. All right. So, there's something missing, and I don't know what the fuck it is for you to actually go out with her. Uh, let's go fun. Fun. That day during recess, you start a half hour of Dab on him, cry. Dab <laughs> on him. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. That's right, there are more pe people older than there are in your year. Someone summons <laughs> demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences uh, might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a red party. You gain two fun. Sweet. Later, you hear an unmistakable growling that can only mean one thing. Intergalactic lions have broken through space to devour one of the smaller, weaker students. No, wait, it's just a little <laughs> back. Guess, Guess it could have meant two things. <laughs> For the last time, is this a bromance or a bro treason, broski? For my teammates and my family. And I'm not trying to be a bad Scott, but. This is the third month in a row you've missed our full moon bro down. We got together and practiced a wolf pyramid and then helped each other inject steroids. <laughs> we played a flip we played flip cup with lambs blood and spiked with it n natty ice. Natty ice? The fuck is that? I don't know and I don't think I wanna know knowing these guys. That all sounds really nice, but I already had plans, and I didn't want to let people down. One of us! One of us! Bro, you're a wolf! Are you with the wolf pack, or are you with those other monsters? Oh, lord. Oh, damn. You're one of those other monsters. Better do something. Wouldn't it be the bastard? On the inside, are we all wolves? Or let me teach you new games. Extremely long distance fetch. <laughs> huh. I feel like the bottom one is charm. Maybe. Well, what would be the top one? Boldness. I'm kind of curious about both of these. I think huh. the bottom one makes um, Pex wax philosophical. You cut out what? As I recall, the bottom one makes the wolf pack suddenly wax philosophical. I take it you've gotten this prompt before? Yes. Haven't seen the top uh, result, so. Let's do top! That, was cr that one was creative! Bro, really? You think a little the game of fetch is really gonna work on us? <laughs> because, Will, we love fetch! Scott, not now, bro. Play it cool. Play it cool. <laughs> you hold up the headless kitten squeaky toy you always keep on hand, just in case. Aww. Then, using everything you've learned in Portal, uh, the class, not the game, you open an interdimensional <laughs> rift. I was just about to say, the game? <laughs> what the hell did we get a Portal gun? When the fuck did we go to Aperture? Go it. And get the portal gun, do every single test, and manage to escape. Look, Aperture is strapped for cash. They're selling equipment. To <laughs> I don't think GLaDOS would care to do that. Let's be real here. I mean, maybe this was back when Cave Johnson was... <laughs> As if Cave Johnson would do that. <laughs> Come on, he buys shit and not sell shit. It's... It's so squeaky. Oh man, broski the squeakiest. Such a squeaky little kitten, bro. You hurl the toy into the portal, and the entire wolf pack dives in after it without a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Oh man, the portal closed. I wanted to catch the squeaky toy. I hope they'll be home in time for sports practice. They will be. These rifts in time in space time last about as long as Scott's attention span. So one second. But they'll be distracted enough to leave Scott alone. You. Time for some quality bonding. You gain two charm and one smarts. 
Um, Sweet. sure. Okay, I'm gonna try it. The... Fuck it, I'm gonna tr keep trying the, the shop. This is the last week. If this doesn't work, you're gonna end up being forced to just not go to prom. I mean, I also gotta get up my, um... I, I'd also have to get up my boldness to impress uh, Damien anyway, which, let's face it. Yeah. Okay, so bathrooms. Hey, stranger. Should be out trying to romance her classmate. Uh. Something cool. Um. Something cool. Fire. Fire is pretty damn cool. Huh. Cool guys walking away from explosions. How the fuck do you bring this? Yeah, you get that. Um, sure. Hey, I can see everything. I can see. They've taken my eyes. No, no. No, they, <laughs> no, I can see everything. It's fine. I can see clearly now the rain. What's up? Yeah. Uh... Something about... All right. I'm looking at the fucking guide right now. And it what? just says visit her shop three times. It just says... Per step zero, go to the library first to gain plus two wealth. You have, you have seven. And unlocking the row, in arguably, this is the easiest step. In order to perform, you must visit the shopkeep three times in a row without buying anything. Maybe I just had to uh, start the game with max money, then get slightly more. Uh... You cut out through all that, but I get what you mean, and maybe. I don't fucking know. Watching Jira eat is usually pretty disturbing. Her snakes eat at the same time she does. But at least it's usually quiet. This time, however, Scott is doing his best to change that. Touchdown! Oh, Scott. Go, Lefty! Gobble that mouse! No, no, watch out for wiggles coming up from behind! Use that tongue! Go! Ugh. Oh. He does this every week or so, whenever my snakes need a meal. He seems to think snake eating contests are a competitive sport. Also, I don't think he realizes that an actual snake eating contest would probably involve people eating snakes. I tried charging him for tickets to get him to stop, but he actually pays to do this. He keeps track of each snake's statistics on a little index card. He's even given them names. Go Slither. Go Bendy. Go Sanchez. Go Snake Snake. Very creative name. Those aren't even their names. God, no matter how much he pays for the tickets, it isn't enough. This seems like a really tense situation. You resolve it in the only way you know how. By opening your mouth and yelling. Snake 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 Snake, eat that food and stay awake. That's the spirit. Get your head in the game, Sanchez. Do snakes have heads, or are they just... N Actually, yeah, do snakes have heads, or are they just neck and face? Don't worry about it. Whoa, check it out. Bet he's been behind all season with a record at the BMI. That's body mass index. The index is because I, I, I wrote out this on an index card. But now she's hungry for victory. Let's go, Bendy. Swallow that glory. <laughs> Snakes really seem to enjoy having an audience. They're really hamming it up. Or should it be snaking it up? That was bad. Your wild cheering motivates the Bendy to really go all out. She tries to grab the mouse out of Lefty's jaws, but the two end up tearing it in half. Ah, my scalp! It's gonna take my snake charmer slash hairdresser hours to get those organs out. 
Ooh, major foul on Bendy there. She's gonna be out the, the rest of the season. Damn right she is. I'm having her muzzled. And her name is... Uh, I never know how to pronounce that. Spirulina? But, Spirulina, Spir there it is. Is it actually Spirulina? That's what I guessed, but I wasn't sure. It's probably Spirulina. Alright. And her name is Spirulina. By the time Vera's cleaned up, up the blood and run off, we've made plans to meet with Scott to watch uh, to the next match. Nice. Nice indeed. Everybody, Everybody choose a brand. Choose a brand. Um. Ty Toys. A silly mascot for the selected brand would. I mean, Mario is pretty much already Nintendo's mask. <laughs> he is the mascot. I don't think Ty Toys actually have a mascot. I, I honestly don't know. It's been years since I've seen anything from him. All right. All right. I'm good at stats all around. Uh. Library apparently. That day you spend some time on the library PC, managing your start kicker. Four twenty backers. Ha ha. You deceive lots of people with a, a sensational possible promises. Nice. You gain 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs, and you keep only two money. Huh. <laughs> Wish you could have kept all that. Scott catches up with you afterwards, panting with excitement. Hey, bro. Just thinking about how much I like you, and want to share my favorite things with you. I thought about sharing my bones with you, but I don't remember where I buried them. Then I thought maybe we could go out peeing together, but peeing on each other's territory would be wrong. And I don't think I know how to share the moon, or even where it is right now. It's right there, Scott. <laughs> I know, I was going to say, it's literally right there. It's evening, isn't it? Or is it morning? I can't remember. So I guess that just leaves my two favorite things in the world. Cheerleading and sports. And since you're not on the sports team, truly it is. Let's cheer together, bro. I was going to say, like, eating? Do you like eating? I mean, it seems like you do. What's that? You want to know what we're cheering for? Well, uh, I'd leave it up to you, bro. What should we cheer? Cheer for the working class. Cheer for each other, because friendship is the greatest sport of them all. I am not... How is that not Charby? It's eight! Are you hey, kidding me? Right. Friendship is the greatest sport of all. Are you fucking kidding I me? Mean, I was asking you to cheerlead oh because God. I was interested in you. But you know oh what? My. Never mind. <laughs> Being friends is way more important than that. Oh. Thanks for reminding me. Oh my me. God, that's bullshit. Instead of working out later, we should totally go to the pegs. Oh here. my. <laughs> they totally pegs. punish you for doing the wrong thing. We can stop on the way so I can take back this edible underwear I brought to use with you. No need, oh. now that we're such good friends. <laughs> they punish you for that. If Scott says friends one more time, you'll a little early tear out your own heart or, and eat it. Right now that <laughs> oh, right now that hut only feels like what's happening. You lose two bolts um, and one smart. Sure. They really, really kick you in the ass for that. I had eight charm. What the fuck do you want from me, game? Uh, do graffiti on the wall. It's a magical. Bold as fuck. What a wall. It's a very opinionated Judgy. wall. Uh, You're wondering if anyone is going to try and punch for the sun anytime soon. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. This was probably a secret ending. Oh, that what I think that might have been. Well, <laughs> turns out the sun is closer to space than Earth, so that's instead of that we're going to need a spaceship. No shit, Damien. 
Where to get one of the, where do you get one of those things? Uh, let's should we check Wiki How or just to check out the school spaceship? Okay, so like I'm stuck on the the only question is where to get one of those things. They weren't kid. Monster Prom wasn't kidding when they said this was very bugged. Oh, there it goes. Oh shit! Spaceships are real things. Damien! Oh my god! You stupid fuck! Okay. I thought a spaceship was what, and you root two pop culture icons to fucking your. Oh my god. Why the fuck does the school have a spaceship? Really? Trying to apply logic to Spooky High? You ought to know better by now. Fair point. Are students really allowed to check it out? Usually they don't let me do anything fun. These are such double standards. If I burn it in the library, it's disrespectful, but if I masturbate in it, that's disrespectful too. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish we knew that that was a secret ending. That way we totally could have ex explored what the hell this entire thing was. Okay. Force the signature of Damien's dad to resubmit it and it instantly gives access. Holy fuck, that was easy. Almost upsettingly so. Just what would happen if, we, if that power got into the wrong hands? Thank God we're just using it to punch the motherfucking son of the face. Yeah. You are the wrong hands. This, this is, is in the wrong hands. On fire. Well, Damn. Shit. <sighs> well, I'm just gonna go for Scott to see if that works. Oh, uh, if only I didn't I fail the it. cocaine thing. Hey, bro. We both fucked it. We both had a shot for a secret ending, and we both fucked it. I fucked it by uh, by pining after the shop. Yeah, and I just Yo. chose the wrong. You're. It's not. <laughs> um. Sure. Yeah. Um, he's he's gonna reject me. Stupid yep. fuck. I need spice in my life, and if you were a spice, you'd be. Um. Hmm. Uh, you fucking suck. <sighs> this is well. the second time tonight I was rejected. <laughs> to be fair, you kept trying to oh, go right. after the star person. Yep. Hmm. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> uh, really? I didn't get the secret ending, oh. but I got to go to prom with Scott. You're my dream team. Prom night was rad. Full moon came out and Scott transformed to a rabbit werewolf near to kill three people, but aside from that, it was a wonderful night to remember. I'm pissed off. <laughs> I think we don't need to play Monster Prom anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful game. Those three weeks, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Scott unexpectedly ended up in film school and partnered with Vera to, co uh, to co-create their very own TV show. It was bought by Notflix, Notflix. <laughs> since Notflix is now airing anything, and even a crazy TV show co-created by recently graduated high schoolers. That's fucking hilarious. Damien found peace in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything until one day, he punched his own anger to death. He wrote a book about it. I want to read that book. Well, Liam kept doing art so hard, he eventually and became the concept of coolness itself. We got a different prom for Liam. <laughs> While leaving the physical plane, the last thing Liam did was give everyone a condescending Mine was, uh, Liam honed his most admirable skill and got a job with it. He now designs Instagram filters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was it. Credits. Yep, now I suffer credits. Jeez, I think that, uh, so I think the multiplayer online is more broken than it was before. Did you steal my mojo? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, good grief. What even happened? <laughs> We both could 
should have gotten a secret ending. But you kept trying to go after the shopkeeper, which didn't work for some reason. Uh, and and I fucked up. I think up. it was because I didn't have enough. You didn't have enough what? Money. Probably. I don't know. Orgy planner? Yeah, that's one of them. That's like the ultimate load ending. Yeah, I know. So. Okay, I'm so mad that I didn't... I wanted to get that secret ending just to piss off my friend because she didn't get it. Oh, I should well. have invested more time in the punch the sun ending. I know, I want to see what that would have looked like. That... Jeez, that sounds fucking hilarious. Damien's face is a big mood. The biggest thrill is being with you. I unlocked it... seven new images in the gallery. What? I unlocked seven new images six in the gallery. Images. Uh, oh, that's the end of this bullshit. <laughs> Night, everybody. Nobody is happy with this. Yeah, Nobody. I'm not even gonna do my. No I'm not even gonna do my own intro. You know what? Just. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Fuck it.